I'm not going to lie. When I saw that lineup yesterday, I was pretty pissed. I was pretty pissed. Quite literally, actually. I don't know about six points at that point. But no, I was very annoyed by that lineup. Uh, because the first thought that popped into my mind when I saw that lineup yesterday was this is the lineup David Moyes would have gone with. He wouldn't have taken a single risk. And Lopetecki didn't either yesterday. And it, it did frustrate me. And at that point, my expectations for that game did kind of take a bit of a nosedive. I really didn't expect much. I expected us to lose. I, I, I really did, which was a shame because I was really excited before the game. I was really excited to see some of our new signings and I did think that Lopetegui would take a few more risks. I thought that he would have started Todibo in that defence. I thought he would have started Aaron wan -Bissaka. Now, there is question marks on whether or not wan -Bissaka had an injury uh, or not. There was a lot of talk going around, but I've not seen anything confirmed anywhere and he was on the bench. So if he did have an injury, why was he on the bench? But he didn't get on the pitch either. So, yet again, does make me uh, question. Especially when Sofell came off. He took Sofell off and he put Tobedo on later on in the game. He went to a back three. So, maybe that was the decision. He wanted to go to a back three to make us a little bit more attacking. And that's why he didn't put Aaron wan on. Regardless, I still think that wan and Todibo should have started in that back line. Alongside Kilman and Emerson. Now, Kilman, I thought, had a really good game. I thought he was really, really solid. Which I was so pleased about because he's been getting a lot of flack in pre-season and I have been saying you got to wait until you see him in a competitive game. We saw him in a competitive game yesterday and I thought that he did really, really well. He looks very, very solid. Mavropanos, I thought, did do an okay job but Tobedo just looked a lot more comfortable when he came on so I am really excited to see the partnership that uh, Kilman and Tobedo will build together and I think it's going to be a really solid partnership and then when you've got wan in there as well, uh, it's going to be a really solid defence because I don't think they would have scored their second goal, which had to be scored by Durant, didn't it? It just had to be scored by Durant. I don't think they would have scored their second goal if wan was on the field. I just I just don't, personally. That is my personal opinion. Now, if you move into the midfield, obviously we had Socek in there who gave away a needless corner three minutes into the game, which you know led to them getting a corner... Um, which Antonio lost Onana, which meant that he scored a goal, which, again, frustrating, you know, it was a little bit of poor defending, we were asleep so early on in the game, and we, are, we need to make sure that we are alert and aware for the moment we kick off, and we, we weren't really yesterday, we did play better football, I feel, throughout the game, we were passing it a lot more, we had a lot more possession, than what we are used to. I think our possession stats were sitting at about 51%, which when you compare it to the Aston Villa game last season where we drew one all, we only had 30% possession in that game, but we did only concede one goal. But yeah, I don't I don't think we can read really read anything into that, apart from the fact that we did have more possession, which, you know, we have been looking for. Now, did we really do much with that possession? Kudus was really trying. He was absolutely fantastic down that left. Uh, he was causing Matty Cash all sorts of problems, but I keep on saying I think he's wasted on that left, and if that is how good he was performing on that left-hand side, just imagine what he could have done through the middle, or on the right. And talking of the right, Bowen didn't have a particularly good game, he was quite quiet, but then I felt like he wasn't getting a lot of help from Sofell, and he was having to track back a lot, so that may have impacted his performance a little bit, and Pakatar didn't have a fantastic game either, did score a penalty, which by the way I think was a bit soft. Socha got the Socha got fouled and yeah, I would have been annoyed if that was given against us. So yeah, I mean maybe that was a soft penalty and we did get lucky. Well, I think Bailey took it round Ariola and hit the post. Probably should have scored and they, they had a couple of other chances. We did as well. I mean Kudus with a great Rabona over to Socha at one point and um, you know this that kind of um, chance that you would have kind of expected him to finish because I remember turning around to my mate and saying. <laughs> So, Jake, different player. When he crosses that 18 yard line at either end, he becomes a different player. But yesterday, he didn't. He didn't have a particularly good time in front of goal. I mean, he, yeah, we missed a, he missed a, a sitter right at the end. I personally feel like he should have done better with the first header rather than, than the shot that he, you know, stuck way over the bar. He was kind of falling backwards and it was a really difficult volley to, to try and put in the back of the net. So, I don't blame, but yeah, I still feel he should have done better with, with the first header. But that. At the end of the day, we, we, we lost the game. We lost the game. Is it the worst performance in the world? No. Is it the worst result in the world? No. Am I particularly worried? No, I'm not. Because we do still have a lot of new signings to come into, uh, to come into the team. And I think once they do, and they, they start to gel, and they start to work together, I, I think we will see the performances improve. And I, I do believe that we will see 
the results improve as well. And when those new signings come on, Tavido, when he come on, looked really, really solid. Again, and I'm really looking forward to that partnership with he will be with Kilman. Uh, Somerville looked very lively. Falkirk was okay. I don't think he was getting enough service, really, but he was keeping himself busy. Danny Ings came on and actually looked fairly good, annoyingly, as well. <laughs> um, James Ward Prowse can't play in that midfield with Sojak and I think that's become pretty obvious now and I, I do believe that we're going to see a lot more action in the transfer window uh, this week when it comes to a new midfielder and trying to move on either Tobedo, uh, to, uh, sorry, either move on uh, James Wall-Prowse or Thomas Sojek and maybe we will be pushing for a move for Carlos Sola, maybe we will so we're going to have to wait and see what happens there but yeah Sojek, James Wall-Prowse, not the ideal midfield Let's say Pakatar didn't have a fantastic game either. So, yeah, th there was definitely some positives in there. The new signings, when they uh, came on, did look really good. Um, Rodriguez, I feel, had a positive game. Not as good a game as he had against Celta Vigo. But it, what I found interesting is when he went off the pitch, that midfield completely fell apart. It started to really struggle when Pakatar went off and we brought James Ward Prowse on, but when Rodriguez went off, it really did completely fall apart and we were just being run through in that midfield. So I feel like the job he done yesterday, very underrated. Very underrated indeed. So now if I have to go and give uh, some player ratings, I mean, Ariola, I don't think he did anything terrible. I mean, probably should have done better with uh, when he went out to go and get that ball from Bailey. Mistimed it, so not great. Don't think he had too much chance with either of the goals i'll give him a six so far i would give a, a four to i don't think he had a particularly good game mavropanos i'll give a six kilman i will give a, a, i'll give him a nine actually i thought he did have an absolute brilliant game emerson on the left uh, a seven lord Ligas, uh i will go i will go a seven as well just because i i, I do think like the, the job he did was a little bit underrated as i say pakatar he's getting a five so check gets a five Bowen, probably a five as well. Kudus, uh, an eight. Uh, Antonio, a four. I don't think he had a, a, had a great game. Um, another positive that I picked up on as well was um, uh, I thought that it was good that Lopetegui took off Bowen. I, I feel like that was a good move because Bowen wasn't performing. And I think that says that he's not afraid, no matter who you are, to take you off if you are not putting in a performance. Was it the right move? I don't know. It's David Moyes never would have done that. He never would have taken Joe Bowen off. Not at the same time as Lucas Pakatar. That was a bold move. So that was interesting. I don't think it really helped us. It did allow Kudus to go over onto the right. And of course, Summerfield to come onto the left. But then we didn't have any creativity in that middle. Which we definitely lacked yesterday. And with Pakatar having a better game and a more solid defence. And when Alvarez comes back in as well. I feel like the team is definitely going to grow and it's definitely going to get better. So, not the greatest result, but it definitely wasn't the worst performance in the world. Definitely seen a lot worse and uh, hopefully we see a few more of our new signings starting our game against Crystal Palace next weekend. And I do believe we will and I'll be very, very surprised if we see that same lineup again. I really would. So, anyway... Thank you very much for watching. Um, I did plan on doing a match vlog, but as I said, I had quite a few drinks yesterday and I accidentally deleted about half the footage I recorded at some point. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I completely deleted it. I can't find it anyway. So, yeah, there is no match vlog this week and that's my own fault. Uh, but there will be match vlogs every week. <laughs> after our today anyway uh if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit that subscribe button thank you very much for watching the west end network extra channel i will be uh live on tuesday night for alex's tiktok takeover where i will be talking a little bit more about this game and obviously our game against palace and on next thursday probably around 8 p.m i am planning to have another uh live opposition chat with a crystal palace fan as well so make sure you tune in for that that will be on this channel tiktok takeover over on the main channel the opposition live is on this channel so anyway thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and come on you irons